This is Duke University. Hello, I'm Stefan Kaup and I'm a fifth year PhD student in the Carolina Duke Graduate Program in German Studies and I'm also doing a graduate certificate in feminist studies as well as in college teaching. In my dissertation, I'm looking at satirical narratives in contemporary literature, film and theater by Turkish German authors. And this interest in and fascination with Turkish German literature really can be explained nicely if we look at the, the theme at the topic of one of our research groups here at the Council for European Studies which is reasonable accommodations, ethnic minorities in globalized nation states. So if we go back to the 1950s in Germany, Germany experienced a severe shortage of laborers after the end of World War II. So the government started signing labor recruitments with many countries, especially in, in Southern Europe, the first one being Italy, and then Greece, Turkey, and Portugal, for example. Then fast forward to 1973 with the oil crisis, um, there was no need to hire any more workers and in fact many of these guest workers went back home but many also stayed in Germany, especially a large group of Turkish guest workers and that was mainly because Turkey at the time experienced a lot of political unrest itself so that the workers didn't feel safe to go back home. And then here Germany sees itself faced with the question, okay how do these guest workers that decided not to stay fit into our society and how can we quote-unquote accommodate them? And I'm looking at this question from two very literary angles. The first question that I ask in my dissertation is how do these texts by Turkish German authors fit into a larger trajectory of German literary history? For one, how do they interact with other contemporary works and how do they also very explicitly engage with older, more classical works like Goethe and Schiller. And then the second focus of my work is to ask how satire as a narrative form can successfully create what I call a, a counter-narrative to more dominant majority driven narratives about national identity, about Germanness in today's Germany. So I'm looking at how these texts maybe subvert some commonly held assumptions about Germanness. And I'm also bringing in my secondary interest in gender studies by looking at how the texts deconstruct stereotypical notions of gender relations in these texts in order to deconstruct homogenous ideas about Germanness. Being a research scholar here at the Duke Council for European Studies really helps my research for the dissertation a lot. For one, the support allows me to go back to Berlin and actually do field research at one of the most prominent Turkish-German theaters, the Ballhaus Naunienstraße, as well at, as the Gorky Theater in Berlin. And what's probably even more important is that it, within the research group, with the other scholars, the discussions that we will have this semester will tremendously help my research to go into new directions because we have scholars from all kinds of different disciplines that look at the question of reasonable accommodations from different angles. And I can already tell after meeting them just once how much my own work will benefit from the interactions with the other scholars.